next contestant, ladies and gentlemen, the most beautiful girl in Nigeria. Closer to me. Now, you have just returned from Singapore for modeling classes and grooming classes and finishing school, and I heard through the grapevine that you even got a certificate in Singapore. Am I correct? Yes, that's right. Now, having been to these classes in the past few weeks and you've been doing a lot of traveling, do you think you're a different woman today than you were, say, three months ago? Um, I wouldn't exactly say I'm a different woman now. I can just say I've improved. Uh, I've uh, always wanted to go to Singapore, and the trip gave me an insight into the Oriental way of life, and it's really broadened my perspective. Now, what is the beauty pageant industry like in Singapore? Pardon? The, the pageant industry, what is it like in Singapore? Um, it's very different from what it is here. There it's more of a regular thing, it's a form of entertainment, whereas here it happens uh, maybe two or three times in a year. In Singapore, in the time I was there, I attended about five pageants. Five pageants in two weeks. I have something for you. Now, Miss Peru over here, where is she? Now, Peru, she took part in the mother-daughter pageant, and she won the look-alike contest with her mother. Now, I have been approached by an international organization, the mother-daughter pageant, and I have decided that you and your mother will represent Nigeria at the pageant. What do you think your father would say when he finds you and your mother taking part in the pageant in Hawaii in three months' time? Oh, dear. Um would both have to look for accommodation elsewhere. <laughs> no, not that bad, but thank you very much, Bianca. Thank you.